It has been pretty obvious the quality of the anime series have been declining over the years. Before I couldn't wait to see what new anime series would air each anime season. And now it's like whatever, I know it's going to air the season. Just your typical Iskai anime series that are powered fantasy. Then you have your slice of life anime series where nothing happens. The Harem anime series that have now become Iskai anime series. So a boring Iskai protagonist against all the girls just because he saves them just in time. And you can't forget the romance comedy anime series where the main male and main female character act cute and have sweet moments together. It's these same types of series over and over. Just look at this anime season for example. Have there been any great and creative new anime series worth watching this anime season? No there isn't. The only great series are already existing popular ones such as Mushoku Tensei and Jujutsu Kaisen. But in terms of brand new anime series, have there been any great series that people will remember? ZOM 100 is the best out of all new series airing the season. And even for that anime series, it's alright. But it'll be forgotten, such as Vivi Florite's Eye Song. People will say, that's just how anime is in general. People forget and stop talking about old anime series. But I disagree. The great anime series are remembered. Even if it's been many years since finished airing. People still talk about the series on YouTube, Reddit, and on anime forums. They aren't just forgotten. There is just no creativity anymore, and why would there be? Why would you take the risk of making a creative and innovative series? We can just copy the formula of other anime series and gain popularity that way. It's apparent, people aren't tired of seeing the same thing over and over. As long as given the overpowered main character that gets all the girls, that's all they want. Why take the risk of making a creative series and risking failure? We can just take the easy path. All you have to do to avoid people saying you're copying other series is to slightly change the formula of a successful existing series. So instead of the protagonist being a human adventurer, you can make the protagonist a demon, a skeleton knight, a pharmacist, or even a shut-in that likes to watch anime all day. Or you could change it in another slightly different way. Instead of the protagonist being skilled in magic, now he's skilled in being a monster tamer. That's pretty much what's been happening with Isekai anime series over the past many years. Have the main character be overpowered but in different ways. It has now gotten to a point where the protagonist is a vending machine. It's pretty sad how the anime industry is trying so hard to milk the Iskai genre. At first, I was fine with overpowered protagonists, but with different unique abilities, such as anime series for the slime protagonist. However, it has now gotten past the point of just one or two anime series doing the same thing. Now, it feels like there are many Iskai anime series that are like this each season. It's not enough just to slightly change up the formula of an Iskai series. We know the basic structure of an Iskai series. The main character suddenly enters a different world and shows off their new powerful abilities. Everyone is in all of their abilities. Even if the Iskai protagonist is not an overpowered human adventurer, if there is something else, such as a dragon, does that really change the feel of that Iskai anime series? Not really. Instead, powerful magic, now it's powerful dragon abilities. Not saying there is an Iskai anime series with a dragon protagonist, but sooner or later, you just know there will be one. People want to milk the Iskai genre to no end. The Iskai genre getting popular is probably the worst thing that's happened to the anime industry in a long time. Now there is no need to put in a lot of effort. Just do mostly the same thing, but slightly change things up. We have essentially accepted how mediocre anime has become. The only way you'll really be able to enjoy the current anime series is if you're a big fan of the anime genre, no matter how average the series may be. So the biggest Iskai anime fan, or the biggest Slice of Life anime fan, will be fine watching the same boring thing over and over. If you dare to speak out, or criticize how anime is now, people will just say you're being a hater, or you're being toxic. I like anime, when it actually tries to be great. I'm sure many of us can see a difference between great creative anime series, such as Oshino Ko and terrible generic anime series. So why can't you have a higher standard and expect better writing? These writers must have a lot of creativity. You can't expect me to believe the best can come up with is an overpowered protagonist showing off his powerful abilities in Iskai series. When these writers actually try, they can create something great. But there is no incentive for them to actually try. This is not just about the Iskai genre but that genre has led to a noticeable decline in writing. Even with the romance genre, 
All you have to do is show off a couple acting cute and having sweet moments. And that's all that's needed to impress the viewers. They're so easy to impress. Just how many romance anime series have actually failed or done terribly in the viewer's eyes? All you have to do is just make the protagonist be average at worst. And that'll be enough. Just don't make the protagonist weak and annoying. Such as the protagonist and Shikimori's not just a cutie. It's hard for me to get mad at writers for making terrible series because it is a smart thing to do. If you want to get popular and make a living, just copy what everyone else does, but slightly change things up. For me, it's more on the viewers. They're essentially fine with the same thing over and over. They're never tired of it. I just don't understand. I understand the enjoyment of watching Power Fantasy at first. Maybe it helps you forget about the unfortunate things that happen in your life, such as loneliness. But it gets to the point where it's like, no, that's enough. I can't accept the same generic thing over and over. That being said, anime will only decline more and more over the years. After all, what are we going to do? Tell people it should stop watching the same generic anime series? The number of generic Isekai anime series will only increase from this point forward. There is not much hope for anime. You just have to wait every once in a while until there is a series that is actually creative. I have seen everything anime has to offer, and I'm not impressed. Am I saying people should stop making Isekai anime series? No, I'm not. I'm just saying not to make the same generic Isekai trash about an overpowered protagonist having powerful abilities and people looking at them in awe. There should be more thought and creativity put into Isekai series. Look at ReZero for example. Did people watch it for the Iskai cliches? No, they watch it because it's an interesting time traveling concept and the suffering that Subaru goes through. They haven't seen anything like that before from an Iskai series. That being said, if there are five time traveling anime series that aired each anime season, would people get tired of it? Of course they would. But that's never going to happen because you actually have to put in a lot of effort into making an interesting time traveling anime series. It is much easier just create a generic Isekai anime series where the main character is all powerful and everything goes their way. If there was actually good tension and conflict the main character has to overcome, that would obviously improve the writing. But people don't care about that. They just want to see the main characters show off how powerful they are and get all the girls. It makes people self-insert themselves as the main character. And it's like, they're the one that's amazing. It's pretty disappointing and sad to see the state MA is now.